Hey, what is up guys? It is Silver Sun here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 59. Now basically this episode starts off right where the last one left off with Zamasu basically coming in with his tea, pretty much about to offer it to Gomasu, but pretty much he notices, you know, Goku, Beerus, Whis, and the Supreme Kai from Universe 7 there and he's pretty much just wondering like, why are they here, you know, and stuff like that and so pretty much... So pretty much they all kind of try to play it cool. Pretty much the Masu's just wondering like, oh, you know, why are you guys here and whatnot? You know, if I recall, you know, you're Beerus, you're Whis, and you're Goku, and you're the Supreme God of Universe 7. And then pretty much the rest of them are just saying like, oh, we're just here, you know, because Goku wanted to fight you again and whatnot. And so pretty much the Masu was about to agree, but then they pretty much deny it and say like, oh, no, you know, we don't want to interrupt your guys' tea time here. And so pretty much Whis gives them like this little um gift pretty much, some food, you know, to go along with their tea. And then pretty much Goku was about to slip up and, you know, reveal what they were doing, you know, by talking too much. But pretty much they just leave as quickly as they came. But pretty much they don't go like all the way back to Universe 7. They pretty much stop in between and they're pretty much just like watching and waiting to see what um Zamasu does to Guomasu, seeing if, you know, their prediction is true. And pretty much after that, we go on to the future, actually, um, where we see Mai and the rest of them, you know, kind of surviving and whatnot, finding a little bit of food and whatnot, having a pretty decent enough time. But pretty much we go on off to actually a nicer looking part of the future with um, Zamasu and Goku Black. And pretty much they're just sitting there talking about like, oh, you know, I'm going to destroy the regular Goku. Pretty much Black's talking. And Zamasu is pretty much just saying, like, yeah, this Amora body is really amazing and whatnot. It's a shame that you don't have one. And then pretty much Black's just like, well, eventually I'll get stronger and whatnot. And having an immortal body would really help. But pretty much Zamasu is just saying, like, no, you don't really need that for the time being. And then pretty much Future Trunks is pretty much sitting around moping about what happened, you know, between him and my him leaving her in the future like that. And then basically, um, everyone's kind of overhearing it, like the Pilaf gang and whatnot. And pretty much present time, I was about to say something in the future Trunks, but pretty much um, present time Trunks, you know, regular Trunks pretty much comes in. And he's just saying like, oh, you know, you call yourself a Saiyan, even though you're sitting here moping about how you lost like one time and whatnot. And pretty much he's kind of egging him on, pretty much getting him to fight him, pretty much saying like, oh, you know, you suck, you know, you're not real saying and whatnot and so pretty much he goes in he punches future trunks after which we go back to goku beerus Whis, and the supreme kind they're basically just watching what zamasu does from afar and pretty much they're just counting down you know waiting for when he's gonna strike and basically they watch the whole thing unfold as zamasu pretty much kills Gowasu with the little chop like i think some of the fans call it psionic blade so yeah he basically uses that and he pretty much kills him by doing that. And so pretty much we reverse his time. And pretty much they go back to Guamasu's palace. And basically they go in and they pretty much explain the whole thing. Well, first actually they, um, it, it was kind of funny a little bit. They used like a little oven mitt to, um, stop Zamasu from killing Guamasu. Surprisingly, I'm not sure how that really worked. Maybe it's a special mitten or whatever. But basically they use that and pretty much... They explain the whole thing, saying, you know, Zamasu's a fraud, and basically he was here to try and kill Guamasu, and pretty much Guamasu's pretty surprised by all this. And I'm kind of surprised he didn't realize it sooner, especially with all the hints given to him and whatnot, but in either case, they pretty much go in and pretty much explain the whole plan, and pretty much Zamasu kind of gives it up, and he's just like, all right, fine, you know, it's true, and whatnot. But basically, they start explaining, like, what happened in the future and what he did because of his, um plan and pretty much upon hearing this Zamasu thinks oh well since you know my plan works in the future and whatnot that means I shouldn't die right now and whatnot I couldn't fail and so basically he's about to kill Goku until Beerus pretty much comes in he destroys him essentially he like holds he like pulls his hand back and pretty much he says destroy and then Beerus just gets wiped out from existence essentially which I thought was pretty epic because for one, we haven't really seen Beerus done too, do too much other than, like, 
fight Shampa in like the Universe 6 arc, which was granted last arc and whatnot, but still like we haven't really seen him fight fight since like Battle of Gods, which was like three or two arcs ago. But yeah, it's been a while and I thought it was pretty cool to see that and hopefully we see him, you know, actually do something pretty cool, have some more epic moments later on. But basically after that, you know, they pretty much go back and tell everyone the good news and how they defeated Zamasu and whatnot. But pretty much Trunks isn't, er, well, future Trunks, I should say, isn't really too keen on celebrating just yet. He's pretty much thinking like, well, when I defeated the androids back in my time, you know, nothing really changed in the future. And so Beerus is pretty much just saying like, oh, no, it's different, you know, with those gods compared to you humans and whatnot. If you destroy someone, you know, like a god and any time, you know, they're pretty much just like gone. But pretty much Trunks still has a little bit of doubt and that's basically where the episode ends. In terms of animation, I thought this episode was really good. You know, no, nothing really like off model or anything like that. Everything looked pretty good for a majority of the episode. And as far as the story goes, I feel like it's going pretty well. I I have to agree, agree with Trunks. I don't think, you know, it's done just yet and whatnot in terms of story. I hope we get, you know, a little bit more to come and whatnot. I hope we get like a really good final battle between like Future Zamasu and Future Black and whatnot. That should be really exciting. But yeah, tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And yeah, that's basically it for me, guys. And until the next one, Silver Sun is out.